back to Riker Rides. I'm so glad you guys are watching my channel. I'm loving all the sub subs and I'm loving all the comments. They keep them coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today is a very easy, I hope, very easy install. And it is, has to do with locking up the bike. So I did a little bit of research on Google and I typed in motorcycle locks. And check out what I saw. It's crazy, the things that are out there. And they're cumbersome and they're huge and who wants to carry all that around? But this is what I saw. So luckily for us, Can-Am Riker owners, and this is true for the 900, the Rally, the 600, they all come with a parking brake. And that's an unusual thing to have for a bike, but luckily we have it. So if the parking brake is on, the bike will not start. Um, it just beeps at you, as I'm sure many of you have found out accidentally when you're trying to, like, why won't it start? Because the brake's on. So um, Sling Mods has this awesome lock on there. And this is how it comes. It's a little tiny bag. Um, the install looks crazy easy, and the only thing that comes in the bag is two keys. Sorry for all the bag noise. The lock, and then two, two bolts, and that's it. So let's go figure out how to put this on. We'll do it together. Okay, the first thing you want to do is locate where this lock is going to go. So the lock is going to go here. There's already an indentation of where the lock is supposed to go. And if you are in any country other than the United States, it already comes with the lock. But we're going to do it ourselves here in America because we can. We can do it ourselves. So um, it shows you exactly where it's supposed to go. And I put, I'll put the measurements. It's about three quarters. Um, around, um, but I'll put the exact measurement up there as well. So um, how this works is there are little indentations here and then the lock is going to come through the hole over here and kind of get inside. It's not meant to go um, in front of the lock of the, the lever. It's meant to go inside the lever in the little grooves. So that's important. Okay, um, and we're gonna get started. Okay, let me show you what we're working with here. So everything is nice and laid out um, so you can get started and have all your tools and everything ready to go. So in the bag from Sling Mods, and of course, um, I will put the link below um, to where you can get it and I'll put their website to slingmods.com, which is their website, on the screen as well but the link to the exact lock, so you don't have to search for it, I will put in the comments section. So in the bag, like I said, is just the lock, the two bolts or two screws, and the two keys, that's it. That's it, so the lock, two bolts, two keys, that's it. So what do you need for the project? Good question. Um, you do need a power drill, and I do have a little tiny drill bit on it just to kind of get the hole started. And then I have two different size step um, drill bits. They're, these are so cool looking. So um, all you really need is one that's, um, if you can read that, is one that's half inch. Um, and because that's how big you want to make the hole. So very important when you're making the hole, um, you can always make it bigger. You cannot make it smaller. So start small and work your way up. So I'm not going to go in there and drill real fast. You'll see I'll do it kind of in steps and stages just to make sure I don't over make the hole because once that's done you're done so um, I'm going to be using that and also I have an eight millimeter um, socket wrench for uh, just to tighten these at the very ends and I also have a just a power screwdriver and I have my Torx bits on here um, is a T20 and a T30 Torx, T-R-X, okay? So the very first thing we're going to do 
is remove um, the panel um, that is closest or part of the um, where the emergency where the re where the lock is the parking brake lock is. I keep want to call it emergency brake. It's not emergency brake. It's a parking lock. Parking lock. So I am uh, parking brake lock. All right. Um, so we're going to first. What I'm going to do is remove the air box um, outer cover. And if you can see, so if you want to know about this little reverse thing I have on my bike, that's another video. Um, check that out. So you'll see these these two clips down here, and they should be ah very easy to do. So you undo those two clips. That one's a little bit of a weird angle. There you go, easy. So now this should come off. Okay, don't do that. Eek. So you don't want to scratch up your stuff. So <laughs> do it easily. Make sure your, um, you. your filter, make sure your filter's clean. Um, so now we're, we're going to lift this up a little bit. So that's why we're unscrewing these screws. So there's going to be one screw here we're unscrewing. So we're drilling in here. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, so there's limited space here that we're actually putting the drill through. So what we want to do is lift this up so we're not drilling into anything we shouldn't be drilling into. So while I'm working on that, I am going to set the camera up so I can work with two hands. I'll be right okay, back. very important thing I forgot to mention is the filter's there for a reason. You don't want to get any debris in this. So very important, you cover this up you know, the best you can to make sure nothing gets in there. You don't want any debris coming off from drilling. Okay. Now I'm going to use the um, T30 or Torx 30 to remove this this bolt that's in here. Okay, that's really all you need to do because you just want to be able to lift it up a little bit to be able to get the drill in without actually drilling anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just poke a little hole in here in the middle. You want to be as close to the center as possible. Okay, so now I have a little beginning area to work with. Okay, you want to make sure you don't over drill it. You just kind of go in and hold it nice and steady. Makes for a very nice, smooth hole. What's nice about this drill bit is you can never kind of drill too much. It's all measured out for you. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put the, the lock in here. Super easy. Okay, so once that is in, if you lift it up, you'll see these two holes right here. Can you see that? Yeah, one, two. 
So we need to hold everything into place. So we need to hold this up and then screw those in there. So, okay, so now we're gonna work on getting those screws together. Getting those screws in there. And you're gonna need, this is when you need the, the eight millimeter socket to kind of get in there and get those screws. And you do this before you screw on the, the lever. So they recommend blue Loctite to hold it in so the vibrations of your bike don't knock these screws loose. I don't have blue, I only have red, which is actually a little more permanent than blue. Um, blue, you can kind of still finagle. This kind of comes out pretty strong. So let me just kind of get these in here a little bit. Very easy, you just line it up. Okay, a couple turns with a socket wrench to tighten those screws and you are good to go. Okay. And you just close this down. Put this back. Put the original bolt back in. You're good. Before you take this off, do another once over. Make sure nothing falls in here. Looks good. Now we're gonna put cover back on and we're done. Super fast, super easy install. Put the locks back on. Make sure it's on nice and tight. It takes a little finesse to get it on. And locked. Easy peasy, man. This was such an easy install. Perfect. Thank okay. So to avoid this, people just rolling your bike away with one hand, with one finger, just pushing your bike away and stealing it in neutral mode. All you need to do is flip up your lock, turn the key, no more pushing, and it's still in neutral mode. I gotta tell you, this is the coolest thing. Um, it is very inexpensive. It is $22.99. And for $22.99, you have peace of mind that your bike isn't gonna get rolled away. Better than those clunky versions of tearing your wheels down with a 30 pound chain. I highly recommend it. It's awesome, the install was super easy.